Three thousand miles from home, trying to say that I will get there soon. I've just today discovered a little event that's occurring here at the Darwin Sailing Club called the Oceania Laser Masters. Now, Masters is not like an academic thing, a master of psychology or anything. Masters is old fogies, and I qualify for old fogies. And laser, it's not like a technical thing either. Laser is not like laser surgery, it's actually laser yachts. So this is in my neck of the woods. And it's happening this coming Sunday, it's only three or four days away. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can get a super late entry. I'm a New Zealander, I'm Oceania. In fact, they allow me to see New Zealand. New Zealand. I'll be so I'm hanging out here at the sailing Commodore's parking lot, waiting for the Commodore to turn up and see if he can swing a bit of influence in my favour. Uh, you know, I've got to pull a few strings for this, I don't know if I can get an entry or not. But anyway, we'll give it a go, see so how we go. Robert, you've made it to the start line. First race, first real race of this series. The Oceanic Laser Masters Championships 2022. It's very exciting to be here. How are you feeling? I'm a highly tuned sailing athlete. I've spent 15, 18 hours on YouTube watching how to sail laser videos, and I reckon I don't think I could be any more tuned up. This tacking lasers looks really technical with the long extension crossing under the boom the extension tiller you have to cross over and then jump on it so it stays in position then swap over your hands and then grab it off and then get going again pull it in that's going to be quite challenging i think it sounds like you've put in the hours and you're determined to come out one of the top competitors is that right that is exactly right rachel i was up to one o'clock in the morning the other night bleary eyed working hard staring at that screen i tell you what my my eyelids were exhausted but i reckon they'll be good for another well, they've got five days of action in them, I think. I tell you, I feel proud to represent my country. I've been through a selection process, it's been hell, it's been tough. And um, I, um, I got the selection, right? I was here and I paid my money. <laughs> <laughs> I am a, a multinational volleyball, rowing, actually freshwater surf life saving. I was Johnny on the spot <laughs> up in Sweden at the time too, with a couple of mates. That's, that's another story. And now sailing. I couldn't be prouder of myself. Just know that we're all behind you, Rob. The boys are so excited to see you racing. We know the hours you put into those YouTube videos, so. Are those, be okay. are those proud of me as I am? Uh, probably not that proud, but close. Okay, close. that's pretty, Very pretty close. close to me. Last day of the races, Robert. Last day today. So I've had two abandoned races. The first race that was abandoned, I would have been first around the mark. The second abandoned race, I, I was third around the mark. <laughs> and all around. the other races, you've been nowhere near them. And I've been nowhere near. <laughs> it's like, so annoying. <sighs> the start of the day, headed off, and I picked some good shifts. 
and my boat speed was similar to others although there's still a lot of boats that was pointing higher but at least I could go similar speed and in some cases possibly faster anyway I picked a couple of shifts and at the top of the first mark I was in third place and then what happened they abandoned the race turned out they had a big wind shift down at the start boat and although we hadn't had any shift in wind and in fact the shift they had down at the start was only temporary and it came back into the clock back into what it was before so if they'd let the race play through it would have been fine they started the race 15 20 minutes later in exactly the same wind conditions and you didn't get to so the, frustrating you didn't get to the first mark on in third place that time no where did you get i was about sixth or seventh around the top mark second yeah. time i cursed I cursed, and there's a mate of mine who I've befriended, actually he's a good good old bloke, Bill, we were sailing back, and I let rip my thoughts, I have to say, he thought it was funny. So the two races that did get off, I, I was ninth and 10th, which is similar to what I've been getting most races, but it was a better race, I was right in the mix, and I was getting some good boat speed, and anyway, I hope I can continue the boat speed, but just pick the wind shifts better again, and I don't know, it's, it's good, it's going okay, but... We shall see. Last day to try it. Last day. Be nice to finish on a high. So this is Nicholas. Good day. This is the man whose boat I'm using. And uh, very kindly put it up at very short notice. Yeah, and he's yeah. Uh, he set some expectations yesterday. He did, a, did all right, I thought. So uh, we'll did see how right. it goes today. <laughs> did all right. Yeah. Taking big risks. Yeah, yeah, taking big risks. Thanks, mate. No worries, enjoy. Robert, how did you go today? Like a rocket. Those nine boats behind me didn't see it coming. <laughs> Those nine in front of me, they saw me coming. I finished ninth today, but I finished tenth overall. Out of is, how many competitors? Uh, what, 17? 17? I think so. Oh, it looks like more than boats than 17. Oh, but there's women as well, isn't there? Yeah. But in my category, which has eight boats, I was fourth. Oh. Fourth Grandmaster. Yeah. And in my international sailing category, I was first. And last. And last. <laughs> first Kiwi and last Kiwi. And for in the Kiwi category, so I won two categories, inter fastest international and the fastest Kiwi. And I was fourth in the Oceania. Proud New Zealander representing the Silver Fern. Contact TVNZ, let them know. Our fourth placing in the Grand Masters Oceania Laser <laughs> Championships. It's a great good day, day to be a Kiwi. It's a good day. For Hello, Kiwi. thank you very much. Um, Immediately after the prize giving, Rob and I flew to the Gold Coast to surprise Bonnie Hancock. Unbeknownst to me, however, Rob and the boys were planning a surprise of their own for our return. Number one is back in town. Yeah. So it's midnight here. We're waiting for mum and dad to uh, get here. They would, they're probably just landing now. We're gonna surprise mum, she doesn't know I'm here. Yeah. Arriving back at the Darwin Sailing Club was full of revelations. We had been locked out, it was a super low spring tide, and the boys had put the rubbish out, which was equal parts surprising as it was suspicious. Yeah. What was in the rubbish that Ivan had to throw away? I've been throwing away rubbish. Well, wasn't anything special? Off. You guys never empty the rubbish. <laughs> I've been decided to go. I was we went in like. I forgot to bring it in earlier. Yeah, it's very suspicious at 2 o'clock in the morning. You have to <laughs> well, yeah, it's just that we didn't go in. Yeah. Any trips. Plus, you take it all. You can take the whole bin with you, bro. Yeah, no, because <laughs> it's in the bag. Yeah, the, bag. <laughs> the bag was like, I don't know why, the bag was like on the side right. and so you couldn't lift it up without pulling out all of the stuff. I didn't want to put it all back in. Yeah. yeah. And so. Oh, Rachel, she's so, you're so domesticated, in. Rachel, eh? Oh. Straight back, straight into, back into it. Yeah. You're straight back into it. I just can't help myself. Oh my goodness. Yeah. The, the muscle memory. I missed it. muscle memory's going off. Yeah, I didn't have to do any of this for the last few days. Oh, there's a heap of rubbish in here. There's a lot of rubbish in there. Yeah. There's a lot of rubbish in this boat. Sorry about that. You have to say. I think we should probably go to bed, eh? It's quite... <laughs> oh my god! Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> Where did you come from? He just materialised. How long are you staying for? Just I'm out tomorrow. 
No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> if you've followed our journey for any length of time, you'll know that I got quite emotional last time Finn dropped in by surprise. Rachel, Jack, are you even going to say hi to Rachel? Hey, Jack? <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> This time around, I kind of had an inkling that they were planning something. Finn had called us and I'd had to call him back. And when I called him, this was when we were on the Gold Coast, he had the sounds of an airport behind him. And I was like, mm, what's, where's he going? And then there were just a few other bits and bobs. Obviously, I was surprised when I saw him, but I wasn't overly shocked that he was here. As a great president once said, Fool me once, shame on, shame on you. It fooled me, we can't get fooled again. Of course, the most pressing items of catching up were ticked off first. Oh, oh wow, he's so much taller than me, I can feel his heels on <laughs> <in> my calves. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> How much taller is he? Um, no, I feel like it's not that Are you feeling like flat? Yeah, my feet are like, flat. Really flat it's like, yeah. honestly, it honestly, doesn't... Honestly, you're like the same height then. Yeah. You reckon? About, oh. No, I mean, I look at it and I feel like Declan oh, might just have like... A little bit, maybe. Like, yeah. if I was going to say, instead of a tie, it would be Declan, but otherwise it's like a tie. Then it was time to put the boy to work to earn his keep. Making use of the boy while he's here. So the reason we're taking these safety lines off is I've discovered on both railings at the back, the main support, there are fractures in them, there's cracks in the stainless. And I've tried to see if I can get a TIG welder to come aboard, but there's no one can do the job. So I'm going to have to take the frames off, take them into a welding shop and get the cracks re-strengthened. We're going to TIG weld the, the crack back inside this and then we're going to fish plate it by cutting a piece of tube and sliding it over the top and then reinforcing the tube both sides. Cool. It was lovely to have the boys all together again and they took no time picking up where they left off. This being the second time only that we've seen Finn in the last two and a half years. Three weeks flew by and we didn't really film much. We just enjoyed being together, although we did have a lot of fun filming a video for a competition where Finn played the handsome doctor figure. I'm sorry. It's not looking good. We're losing him! We're losing him! Let me try something. And we encourage Finn to join us as we challenge ourselves once again with an ice bath. Have you done an ice bath before, Finn, ever? Not like that, no. What have you done? Just in the river. Um, but it's like midwinter in the river. So oh, midwinter river, oh, yeah. yeah. It's cold. So have you heard what we've been saying? It's so long and slow, long and strong. Okay. Fight or flight, make you come. <laughs> Tongue on the roof, you walk behind your tooth and anchor yourself through that. If all that mental activity is trying to tell you that it's overwhelming and freaking out, we just kind of want to put that at arm's length, witness it, observe it, watch how it wants to grab data, because there'll be pain coming. And they'll be like, okay, because the body's doing what it's meant to but it'll be interpreting and assigning a meaning as bad, 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 bad. We want to kind of observe that, but not be caught up. And it's about 45 seconds to a minute, and we'll go from fight or flight, sympathetic, to rest and digest, parasite. Yeah? Now, if tears come up, cry. If laughter comes, laugh. If shaking comes, shake. Don't block anything there. Yeah? Breathe it in, release it out. Just feel your way in it, trust, and anchor yourself in that out breath. Yeah? Long day. <laughs> Bit different today? 10 seconds, oh yeah, over five. That's over five minutes, lads. Well done. Well done, guys. Anybody go under? <laughs> I don't blame you. Excellent, well done. Great effort. Yeah. The sun. Hey, Sue, are you going in? You want? You don't need. <laughs> Oh, I'm 
Chipping him up? Yeah. He's right, dude. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's it. That's it. You don't need to go longer than that. Yeah. There you go. You got it? <laughs> yeah, just read. Yeah. You want to stay down there, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. I feel like that long. Was that quite? Yeah, it was quite long. How was that? It was good. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's diff definitely um, cooler than the, the river, I think. Well, I don't know. It's been a while since we've been in the cold, so. Yeah. You've got that ice all around you as well. Yeah. I mean, it's, that's going to be under three degrees there. But also not moving, because usually when I'm yeah, in the river, station. I swim. Yeah, yeah so you get your circulation yeah. going a bit. I haven't had the shivers. Yeah, you've got the. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was good. New. Just came out of nowhere. Like, I didn't. I yeah. was fine, and then yeah. it's like. <laughs> 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 <Okay>. <laughs> That's your body trying to warm you back up again. And just like that, our time with Finn was over. We have had Finn here with us and... Three weeks now, yeah, almost. We haven't, we haven't really um, chatted, have we? We haven't really chatted. So no, just been having you... family time, having yeah. no filming. No, Not much filming. Oh, no, I haven't been doing much. <laughs> no, yeah. Um, well, it's true, we haven't been doing much. But no. uh, tell me, Ben, what are you up to back in your um, Back into rowing uh, after being away for a bit. So the plan is I'll yeah, race the club season over the summer and then hopefully make the New Zealand team. And then the goal is the Olympics uh, in 2024 in Paris. So. Indeed. Yeah. We will be there with bells on to watch you. Whether we manage to sail that far, that's our dream. Do you want to get a little bit closer? Uh, but <laughs> if we don't get to sail that far, we certainly will be leaving the boat somewhere and uh, flying to Paris to watch you. Mm. And I think you can, you'll do it. Yeah. Your tenacity, your resilience and your determination are uh, Took long enough. <laughs> okay. Love you guys. See ya. Love you. See ya. More chocolate. Can you take any more? <laughs> and here we are, Wangi Falls. Here we are, Wangi Falls. Wangi? Wangi? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. Look at her go in that hot dress. Oh, she's a rocket. <laughs> Did you crack it? Yeah. Oh, really? I can't feel my legs. <laughs> Three, two, one, jump. Yeah, nice. Oh. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Thanks for supporting our channel. Leave us a comment or a like. And if you want to watch that video of Finn and I, the last time we came where I got a little bit emotional, that's here, or you can start our journey right from the beginning over here. See you next week.